Welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead, Reba here. So I wanted to show you guys my hyacinths and they're blossoming, you guys. So we'll come over here by the front door out here on the nosy, no, nosy, nosy and noisy street. <laughs> um, people looking out their windows at the strange lady making videos all the time. But uh, all of the grape hyacinths, I've got some up here blossoming in the top. So you guys can see, they look really pretty. And they'll continue to open up. I've got some buds on my other hyacinths. Looks like this one's probably gonna be a pink color. This one's probably gonna be a blue color. So we'll just have to watch those and see. Coming down, I've got my purple um, grape hyacinths right here. And they're kind of like a blue with the, uh, a purple with the blue color to them so they're not I've seen like straight up blue or or a little bit more purple but these are more on the purple side than the blue but they're looking a little bit more blue than purple on my camera at least from my angle and then I have this really pretty pink hyacinth blossoming coming up it didn't come all the way up generally from the store when you'll see them they'll have those giant stalks and then they'll they'll blossom out but that's how this one's looking this year <laughs> it's all right down there really compacted and it's put off little babies next to it so I've got little bulbs developing right next to it and this one has two also next to it up here so they're starting to do, um, multiply in the pot and the grape hyacinths will do the same thing um, no blossoms on these hyacinths at least not yet but I um, on the big ones but I do have two coming up this one here is blossoming out and this one's coming up still so it looks like I'll have at least maybe almost two grape hyacinths that have blossomed in the pots this year, except for the top one, only had the one. But next year, if it doesn't come up this year, I'll have another one there, probably three in that one next year. Um, so yeah, but I've got the other ones in the backyard that are blossoming too. So those must have been more mature. Um, see, uh, either where they've duplicated at the base or I had a whole bunch of seeds a couple years back that I planted. So I've got like hundreds of grape hyacinths now in my pots in the backyard and I've got them in in a lot of my pots. I've got them in with my gooseberries, I've got them in with some of my other trees in the backyard. So yeah. These ones, nothing coming up yet. I think these are probably irises but they've never bloomed. They were under that evergreen out front and you know um bulb flowers don't like being under evergreens and generally speaking they won't produce a blossom if they're up underneath them because of the high acid rate from the needles falling to the ground so this last year i fertilized really heavy with them and we've got new growth and they're really strong and healthy looking so i'm excited i'm hoping that maybe i'll get an iris to bloom i had an iris a few years back and no blossoms you guys nothing so um quite a few years back before i really started gardening a whole lot i had these irises that i'd had in a container pot for like two years never got a no more than that because i brought them brought them with me from california out to colorado and they were a bearded um i had a pink and a blue one planted pink bearded blue and um a pink bearded iris and a blue bearded iris I guess I should say um, or however it's called anyways neither one of them ever produced the blossom for me plus I was really new to gardening I was really just starting to get into gardening at that point I'd had like flowers and I tried my hand at a, a small few things in container pots in my house um, but mostly flowers at that point so anyways so we're gonna come over here um, the star jasmine probably won't flower until later in like August. That's what it did last year, so that's about the time I'll expect flowers on this. Um, this one's got big old buds, my rhododendra. I got that from a, it was a little tiny bush when I got it last year, and um, or two years ago almost. And so we should get some blossoms on that. This will have really pretty um, purple blossoms, so that'll be really nice. Now. We do have some leafing out on the elderberry down here. It's right next to the hose. It's starting to rain a little bit. And it looks like I might have lost two of the artichokes um, in the
cold weather that we had, but it looks like the big one made it. That was the most healthy one. So that's exciting. What's going on here? I'll get down here so you guys can really see. And if I get really close, you can kind of see the, um, the little blossoms that are coming on right there. You guys, I think this is a wild hyacinth. Um, it kind of looks a lot like the images that I've seen online, so I'm excited to see what the blossoms are going to look like. And by the time I see the blossom, blossoms, we should know for sure whether or not this is a, um, a wild hyacinth. Um, they say that they generally are, um, they only grow, um, takes a while for them to get established. And once they do get established, um, you know, they're growing, <laughs> clearly. But um, they tend to only grow in really fertile soil. And this has had mulch on it. This area has had mulch on it for about um, almost... Um, four growing seasons now, three years um, total, and um, they put the mulch on it just before we moved in, in April of 2000, good night, these cars and their giant mufflers, super loud. take a while for them to get established. I have no clue what I was just talking about. But anyways, <laughs> I'm really excited about this, so I can't wait. I'll um, come back out here when I start seeing blossoms so that we can see for sure. And then, so I have those two, and then I've got another two down over here. So I'm excited to see. We've got leafing out on the hydrangea. My sweater is getting caught on the rose bush right over here. I'm like good and stuck now, you guys. Good and stuck. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna come through and knock these uh, thorns off so that my sweater won't keep getting stuck on them. I did that with my little rose bush in the backyard so that um, I won't get stuck because I, I do not like getting these in my fingers because it's hard to get those splinters out. Okay, my, I shouldn't get stuck on that again, that top part anyways. I'll come back through again on another day and take a few more off. But we got some leafing out on the hydrangea. Got some green, that's really exciting. And then nothing coming up in these yet, but these probably will also put on some, uh, we'll probably get some flowers in these ones too. They're a lot bigger than those other one over there, so we'll have to watch Wild Hyacinth. So um, I'll probably be digging these bulbs up and putting them in my container pots because that's pretty cool. I love flowers. So anyways, you guys, um, thanks for coming along today on my short video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day, and God bless. Bye.